Creating a purchase order in Aptora Mobile 2 training video. Training video overview. The purpose of this training video is to give Aptora Mobile 2 users an understanding of the navigational procedures necessary to create a purchase order using the Aptora Mobile 2 website. Like many other features and functions available to users from the Aptora Mobile 2 website, purchase orders can be created from different forms and places on the website. This training video will cover the most basic and simplest process to follow in order to create a purchase order from the Aptora Mobile 2 website. For more information about the different ways a purchase order can be created, please visit our website where additional training videos can be found or contact an AppStora sales representative. Creating a purchase order. To begin, log in to the website to be directed to the dashboard. From the dashboard, select the Quick Add Data View option. When the Quick Add menu opens, select the option Add Purchase Orders to be directed to the vendor search page. On the vendor search page, Enter the vendor name, search criteria, and then click the Go or Enter button on the device keypad or keyboard to return a list of vendor results based on the search criteria entered. Next, select the radio dial button adjacent to the vendor to create the purchase order for, and then select the Next button found in the upper right corner of the form page to continue. After selecting the Next button, the user will be directed to the newly created purchase order form or PO. The purchase order form. When a user arrives to the new purchase order form, three icons will be displayed in the upper right corner of the form, providing additional action options that can be performed from the purchase order form. These action icons are the email icon, Selecting this icon will guide the user through a step-by-step -step process to sending the purchase order to an email recipient or recipients. Enter an email address or addresses, check the appropriate option box if necessary, and click the send button to send an email with the PO. The print icon. Selecting this icon will open a new browser window where a preview of the purchase order is displayed. Users having a printer connected to their device or operating system have the ability to print the purchase order from their device or operating system. Because these options and capabilities vary by browser, device, and operating system, how to perform this function is not covered in this training video. The purchase order settings icon. The final icon displayed is the Purchase Order Settings icon. Selecting this icon will direct the user to the Purchase Order Settings form. Users with the appropriate security permissions may edit the Purchase Order Settings that apply to that preview and printed display of a purchase order in Aptora Mobile 2 on this form. Editing the PO form. Above the action icons displayed at the top and far right of the purchase order form, the edit button will be displayed. To begin editing the purchase order, select the edit button. After selecting the edit button, the user can add or edit information found in the different sections of the PO form. Once the user has added and edited all information needed, select the save button found in the upper right corner of the page to save the purchase order and continue. After saving the PO, the user may now scroll to the Items data view to begin adding items to the PO. This function may also be performed prior to editing and saving the purchase order. Before adding items, however, the PO must not be in edit mode. 
After selecting the Items Data View option, select the Add Items button to be directed to the Add Items search page. Enter item search criteria in the field provided and select the Go or Enter button on your device or keyboard to return a list of item results. After adding the items, the user is returned to the PO form. At this time, the purchase order has been created and the user may select the Home button or icon to be returned to the dashboard menu. As you can see, I did not add any items to this purchase order. Practical Application Scenario Create a purchase order for five items. Change the purchase order display settings to display only totals without the items. And email the purchase order to a recipient. Begin from the Dashboard menu. From the Dashboard menu, select the Quick Add Data View option. When the Quick Add menu opens, select the option Add Purchase Orders. Make your vendor selection from the Choose Vendor form and select the Next button. From the PO form, select the PO Settings icon. Select the Type field drop down and choose the option Totals Only, No Parts. Then select the Save button to continue. Upon being returned to the PO form, select the Edit button and add shipping information. After adding the shipping information, select the Save button and then select the Items Data View option. When the Items Data View expands, select the Add Items button. Enter search criteria to return a list of item results. Choose five items and add them to the PO by selecting the Add button. When returned to the PO form, select the email icon. Enter an email recipient if an email address is not entered and click the send button. A new PO has now been created and emailed using the Aptora Mobile 2 website. Great job! This concludes the Creating a Purchase Order Aptora Mobile 2 training video. For more great videos or to inquire about Aptora's other great products and services, please visit our website or contact an Aptora sales representative. Thank you.